in 2022 to pick up something from, you know, goodness knows how many years ago and say, look at that person, what a horrible individual, awful person, without even realising the stupidity of applying today's moral compass into yesteryear. They were completely different times. You know, life, society, value sets, whatever, have uh, more often than not rightly moved on. And you can't erase past, you can't erase history. And the thing that always makes me smile is that the people that are desperate, seemingly, to erase all these pasts and all the rest of it, they're more than happy, though, to keep the money. They're more than happy to keep the facilities that said person's money has bought them. They never seem desperate to hand that back to the people or the families uh, related to the person that gave them the money in the first place. Where are you on it all? Well, I think stupidity is absolutely the right word there, Michelle. I think you've completely hit the nail on the head. Um, and for a university, an academic institution, to be removing the name of one of the most significant philosophers, a real intellectual heavyweight of Scottish life, um, from their buildings, just shows complete ignorance, as far as I'm concerned. And, and it, it really worries me when universities are doing this, because you just think, what kind of messages are being sent out to students about intellectual thought, about actually engaging in debate, struggling and thinking and engaging with ideas that they might, students might find challenging or, or even might just be perfectly acceptable in the historical context in which they were first raised. But, but for universities to be doing this, and obviously it's not just Hume, you know, we've, we've seen everybody from Shakespeare to Jane Austen to Charles Dickens, you know, they, they all seem to come along the line and get called into question and at very best have a trigger warning slapped on them. Um, but, but yeah, buildings. And one thing I'll just say on what Peter said, I'm, I'm slightly dubious about the core to contextualise. Um, you know, I think it's better than removing things. I mean, this isn't a big thing now to stick up a plaque alongside a statue or, or put a little kind of additional notice on something to, to highlight some of the problematic aspects. But, but my concern is that contextualising often just means pointing out the bad things that somebody did. So you take a historical figure like Captain Cook to pick someone at random and you just add in a sign to say all the, the negative or the bad things. And I think the message that sends to young people is that there was nothing positive about Britain's past. There was nothing to be gained from philosophers or authors or explorers. You know, the past was an unrelentingly negative place and all we can learn from it is, is how bad it was 